Hello, it's Mercy here from Del Riata. This is the weekly summary for the 26th of September 2021. Uh, welcome and thank you very much for another fabulous week. Uh, well, it was actually a bit of a um, mixed mixed bag for me because at the beginning of the week we had... Um, what did we have? What was the... Oh, jeepers, what was the... Um, Delve, it was something horrendous. Oh, it's down the bottom. Um, we had Laraz's Lair, and uh, I was op uh, optimistically uh, and excitedly willing to take on Laraz's Lair with potions. Uh, unfortunately, I did not estimate my time or manage my time very well, and kind of came got to 500 uh, in the last hour to play, and had... Um, hadn't used the pure team before as you can see I've only gone up to 200 in the pure team so I was racing to get there to 500 then had a crack at the pure team at 500 after have, uh, only of trying it on 200 and um, I tried like so many times 10 times I think in that last hour and, and well, I could play so many times because I kept on losing really badly <laughs> and just sort of losing the first fight or the second fight and then um and then I just threw away a thousand gems on getting more tier 7 potions to get my bonus up to try and desperately get it. And didn't get it, so I ran out of time. And um, man, I was I just absolutely gutted. Um, so yeah, so that's why I've got very few gems uh, up here in the top corner at the moment. And, and that was down below a thousand for the first time in probably a year and a half. And um yeah, I was I was a bit sad on it at the beginning of the of, of the week, but doesn't matter because as a guild we did really well. We did uh, it was a Guild Wars week, uh, which is always good. We uh, completed the Amethyst Light week, um, a world event as we now always do. Um, we finished it in pretty good time, and you know, shouting out to um, Sabretooth and Erika for uh, and Lex and Lurik and Starla for getting really high scores there. Um, you know, the top five really carrying us through that quite nicely. I, I think we would have got there, actually. I was complaining last week the, about um, relying too much on the uh, these finishes uh, for the world event and uh, that we should all really be pulling together. But we, are, we probably would have done it anyway. Um, but that's not to take any of the glory away from them. They have done very, very well, and thank you very much. Um, uh, and, and everybody played, so no no real dramas there. Probably a bit low down here. And oh, welcome PMC new member uh, has been playing too. So I mean, a lot of people stop when we get on Friday on Friday when we got to the end, and I did as well. So you can see I've got uh, I've still got loads of things left, but there's no there's no point carrying on in my mind. Uh, when you get when you get to the end, you get to the end. Um, but that is the Amethyst Light. Uh, what else do we have? We had Guild Wars, which I will show you now. But as another sort of usual success story, um, absolutely pasting the opponents. Somebody was there was one worthy opponent somewhere. There must have been the Rue Bears. Let's just have a look how they did. Yeah, they got they they're going to get a million points, uh, but we're we're well ahead of them. So it was never in any danger. And the reason why is that because look as I scroll down, this is early in the last day, by the way. So um, lots of people haven't played the last day, but you know, it's uh, people playing across the board. So you know, thank you very much, and that's what makes the Guild Wars so fun for us. And and this this is these are these are important things to me um, as the uh, guild leader. And when I look at demoting and promoting and kicking out people, this of course means quite 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 a quite a bit. And when you look down here, we've got, we've got some really good scores. Um, you know, anything anything above fifty thousand uh, is is really good uh, at, at the end. So we've got we've got really really good scores here. I thought I'd done brilliantly, um, and then I was going, yeah, I'm going to seize Paragon again for for one week, as I as I sometimes do. Um, but uh, when I scroll down here, I look at Sabretooth Rat and went, oh my word, he's going to get it, definitely going to get it. But there's another few there's another few in the running. Um, but uh, well done, good on you. Um, so uh, Zeta still has, has to play yet as well. So um, yeah, so 
plenty of competition in, in our guilds for Paragon. So anyway, moving on. So well done, Guild Wars. Um, now, Guild Wars was particularly uh, important this week, I thought, because it's a vault. It was a vault weekend, and um, it means you play heaps. So let's just look at the roster and why, why, wh why? What does it mean? Oh, you play heaps is good, good in the Guild War weekend. But uh, remember, every every day you win, and this is the real reward in Guild Wars. Is that every every day that color day that you win, you get fifty percent bonus experience points for the next day. So it means you go up levels, and when you're, when you're quite high level, it actually makes a real difference. So I've torn up about four levels this weekend, um, which is just great, because it, otherwise it takes ages and ages to go up. So um, yeah, so I've gone up a few levels, which is just magic. Totally happy with that, but I've played a ridiculous amount. I think I think for the first time, I may have hit the top. Yeah, I bet Joe. Um, I have may, I may have hit the top. I think I bet Fungo there. Yes, I did. So yeah, I've played a ridiculous amount, and I'm going to talk a little bit in this video about what my strategy was for the vault because I did quite well. I think I think hard to know, and I'm going to talk about that as well. So let's um, so just scrolling down here. It, all stars, all brilliant. Everybody's doing well. Somebody's there. Two. Um, you know, I give speaker a lot of slack. Speaker's been around for a long time. Um, a little bit intermittent but has a very demanding job and is on chat and discord so happy with speaker agent um, um, cry out to agent for good luck agent is studying at the moment um, doing it doing his best uh, to, to get there and contribute uh, but got a big exam coming up so so everybody shout out to agent and PMC has just just actually joined us so um, just a few hours ago so uh pmc if you uh do get on do get in video listen to this video really important in this guild that you uh participate and contribute to um world event uh guild wars and uh share teams and things like that and advice on chat so those are super important in our guild so um good we we talk on game chat we used to talk on discord but we don't our discord now is a team library so uh, very well worth joining our team library and Stala has kind of taken over um, the um, uh, curatorship of that uh, discord library uh, and is doing a, an amazing job and essentially it just means you have zillions of extra team slots to, to draw from and they're all indexed um, and are, are really really helpful and um, actually as an example of that in the guild wars um, I just used a whole bunch of every, every, every like every guild where I just go to discord and look at the ones that I think I might use the one or two I might use in the guild war that day and then copy and paste them over uh, and actually in saying that let me just shout out to Star Lord because Star, um, let me just see where was the where was the troop this was the one I used today and this was a Star Lord's team that he's posted on discord this was a red day today never used this team before and it was great really really cool um i really liked it in fact i liked it so much that i'm just going to play a game right now just go to casual pvp and oh, i wonder what the hell let's go take out that one um okay let's see if we can oh jeepers went to the wrong team okay that's going to be a that's going to be a loss let's just let's just lose this fight um and now I will retreat because I can't recharge it with that team. I can't win that fight with that team. Um, so let's go and take on this team. Sorry about that. That was just a big mistake. I wanted to show Star Lord's team for Guild War Red. Um, this is this is it here. So it took me a little while to get around this team. Um, this team's oh, let's take that match. This team's really really cool. Like um, so these it starts with two teams two uh troops fully fully uh charged uh converts yellow gems to skulls this one converts green gems to skulls never don't really use those very much um and it's just a it's just great you can just get the upper hand really fast so what i could do here is i could take a match and and start charging up obsidious obsidious is your only mana generation in this team because of course here you've got uh blue gems to doom skulls Blue, blue gems to skulls and a whole lot of um, 
damage, so 51 damage, which would almost wipe out this team. So get that charge and that'll wipe out that team. Um, but these ones could do skulls as, as well, so like yellow to skulls, green to skulls. So let's just do the yellow to skulls. We're going to get one, two, three matches. Um, so that'll take out Shivanu. So let's just do that, and it gives attack to our ally. And this is going to uh, largely win the game for us because now um, with one match we can take out we can take out Tina here. But actually, if we do this, um, we will get an extra turn as well. So because we've got a match there, so let's take out Tina with that match and now we have a chance to take out uh, the Grey King um, which we do we've got no nobody charged uh, actually I might take that because that's going to drop that and kill Grey King anyway um, and then here we go we can take out uh, their Obsidious so <laughs> it's a really really good team like I, I've never seen it before really like it um, just a bit different and uses Dragon Guard which I've is one of my lowest teams so I might play with that one a bit because it's quite a bit of fun so anyway that was a funny shout out in the middle of the video usually I leave the teams to the last and actually I have got some teams to show at, 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 at the end I've got quite a bit to show at the end actually but now let's move on to what is happening next week um, so so that'll do for the for the oh, actually oh, one moment bit of a summary as to how we're doing as a guild again brilliantly we've dropped down some of the ranking numbers or dropped up sorry uh, we've moved up the ranking to 512 uh, 550 uh, 252 couldn't miss me can't say anything we have no spare slots uh, we did have one spare slot because we booted it. I booted out a member because he joined and clearly just uh, reaped the rewards of being with us uh, cruised and didn't do anything so I booted him out after a couple of days and we've got PMC now, so hopefully PMC engages and isn't a repeat of that. Um, but otherwise you saw the roster and that's fine. All the tasks are into the legendary, so we're doing brilliantly as a guild. Very happy about that. No issues. So uh, what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, so what's happening next week? So we have a Groshnak week next week. And Groshnak is this down here, the Orc Kingdom. Uh, the glory troop is um, who is what's this the glory troop? Oh, it's a rock. Pardon me, rock guard the guardian. It's another one of these uh, the theme that we've been having in this campaign of uh, glory troops that convert. Uh, oh, sorry, they um, summon potions, and this one summons one to three brown potions this week. So we got a brown potion. We had a purple potion last time. Um, and but this team this this card actually might be okay because uh rockgar what he does is he also because they always have you know because we've got that power creep so they always have an extra skill um and what rockgar does is converts blue gems to skulls so the other ones did things like curse like last week it was create one to three purple potions and then curse somebody randomly but this one converts blue gems to skulls which is actually quite useful so rockgar could could be of use as a glory troop which would be like a miracle but anyway tuesday we have the dripping caverns um i i'm i'm so shocked and damaged after um lazar's lair so I, I i don't know if i'm going to take on dripping caverns i might just go to 100 um to get the to, 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 to do the event and complete the tasks in the event but i'm not sure how tricky dripping caverns is i haven't really looked into this one very much um I know it's got Shigarath. Uh, he's, well, he's a wonderful, wonderful card, a wonderful troop. But um, Shigarath, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the pure team's like. I have to look into that. So sorry about that. Um, but I doubt I'll be doing it. Uh, what I am going to be doing this week is I'm going to be trying pure team on Mirrored Halls. So Mirrored Halls, um, I have been during this weekend spending lots of extra gold getting the hoard up. So I've got my hoard up to 181 and I'm going to start trying um, 500 on mirrored halls um, with the pure team so that's going to be that's going to be my week I'll be using all my free delves uh, trying to get mirrored halls pure team so hopefully I achieve that so that's my goal this weekend other goals that I spent on doing during the week was I finished the I did a gold run on the Warhammer challenge so that's what I, I talked about it a couple of weeks ago or last week um, and what that was doing was using um, Erica's gold team, which is the double uh, Cedric uh, with plunder and peril, um, on E12 on every single kingdom. And the point of that was to try and find more Nisha 
uh, medals uh, or badges or whatever they're called um, not badges tokens uh, and I found one a <laughs> big deal but I made lots of gold from it uh, which I could spend on getting my mirrored halls up hoard up which was great so that took a bit of time this week um, uh, and of course we had uh, the Vault event, which I will come to, I'm still going to talk about next week first because it's more interesting. Tuesday, oh, we've got the Driven Cabins, of course. Uh, then we've got uh, Wednesday, the Pets, the Ogkin. Um, then we've got uh, Barbarian class on Thursday. Then we've got Friday, we've got a Raid event. Hooray, about time. And we've got Halfgrim, Halfgrim the Half Giant is the God Slayer. And I can't remember whether it actually, like, I don't know why it keeps on resetting to that. I keep on complaining about this every week. Um... So half half grim. Uh, let me just type in half grim. Does he actually already exist? Yeah, he does. Okay. So this is half grim. So he's he's a he's a, a troop this week, um, which is great. So we all already have him, and we should already probably have him up to have him up to mythic already because he must have been used before. So um, so he's a raid boss event. So that'll be nice having that second event. Uh, and Saturday has another pet, which is a Curandorito, uh, which is a bit weird actually. I think I'm pretty sure Curandorito was one of the campaign ones, so everybody should have should have him up to 20. Seems a bit weird then to have him. Yeah, uh, Curandorito was one of the, which was the one? It was the pet for the a seal of Kurandara campaign. So there you go. So um, most of us will have him up to twenty. So it's, it's kind of pointless, really. I guess I guess new players get the opportunity to collect them. So that's fine. Okay. So that's not very useful for us at all. So let's go back and talk about. Oh, sorry. I missed the most important thing. Friday. Friday. Next week we have a new mythic again, which has come around quickly. So it must be that part of the cycle where the two. Um, it's not very doesn't feel like very much between uh, the two the, the, the two drawings of them so the last one was late and then this one's early uh, and so that's Friday we have a new myth, new mythic and that's Arch Proxy Evendra uh, who's a Zulkari spider so we've got another Zulkari troop where's Zulkari uh, where Zulkari is somewhere around there it is um, so from the spider kingdom um, we have a new mythic which is wonderful um, and again we've got a bit of creep here so we've got a um, this is what what uh, arch proxy Evendra does is creates three yellow gems so a bit like Lord of Slaughter um, and then converts in Kurandara and then converts all yellow gems to skulls but these skulls so they're so a bit like Lord of Slaughter in that respect, but um, so a yellow one. But um, this time we have Uber Doom skulls. So there's a new type of skull coming. So we have a new a new mechanic and a new mythic with that mechanic. So um, I'm I'm excited, but uh, you know I always do get excited, and I'm ever the optimist. Um, I feel like this mythic actually might do something. So maybe maybe our new mythic is going to do something now. Um, we've talked strategies to, to death regarding keys, so I'm not going to do that again this time. And clearly, everybody um, did well last time. I think 29 out of 30 guild members got the new mythic last time, and the, and the only reason why one person didn't is because they left the guild. So um, we we pretty much had a 100% hit rate last time with drawing the new mythic. So everybody, good luck for this one. This one is probably worth it. Even if it doesn't turn out to be very good, it's worth it because it uh, makes use of a new, a new mechanic. Um, Tuesday. Now I missed Tuesday because Tuesday we have, or Monday, sorry, Monday we not only have the new week of the campaign um, and the new world event, we have a new legendary troop available in, um, in event keys. And if you're lucky like me, you haven't used your event keys for ages and you've got tons of them. This event uh, key, this uh, this uh, legendary troop is the star. Um, so it's we had the moon and now we've got the star unless I'm completely wrong is it, it's not coming from the campaign is it I could be completely wrong let me just check this is it coming from the campaign um, how do I do check that let's have a look maybe I'm completely wrong starlight is coming from the campaign no it's not coming from the campaign nope. oh the star there's the star there wait a minute where are we up to 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, they yeah, completely misled you. So those people who have the Elite Pass upgraded to the Elite Plus Pass will be ahead of me because I'm only Elite on the um, campaign track. So they will be this week. They will be having the potential on Monday to draw the star. So they will get this card here. Um, and the star is kind of cool. I can kind of see the star being useful. Um, one, the mana cost is six, which is fantastic, and gives magic to an ally. And I, I can't sort of think about that immediately, but I can just kind of imagine if you chuck that in a Shibaru Vespera team, if you chuck that with finesse, if you went finesse star, hmm, uh, so finesse uh, Shibaru Vespera, the star, and then dancing daggers, or Man the, what's the Mankini one? spiked Man mankini yeah if you if you did that as a team this would be awesome because what if, and if, then if you cast it on shibanu um oh it's a random ally but actually it would be awesome anyway but every time it hits shibanu uh one it would there'll be there'll be tons of yellow on the board so it'll give you lots of extra turns but also giving 15 magic to shibanu would be great because what shibanu does is uh increases the stats on three of your troops uh, every time you cast it, and you're casting it almost every round, so every every round or every second round, repeatedly. Um, so what you'll be doing is you'll be just pumping. It'll be pumping your team up, pumping your mankini and your finesse up really, really fast. So I'm quite looking forward to putting the star into that team and seeing how that goes, because I think that'd be cool. And because it's only worth six, it'll be charged all the time. So interested very happy about that one so sorry i misled you it's not in um it won't be it won't be in event keys it will be in um the beef be from the campaign so for, if you're just a pleb like me it's not you're not going to be able to get it for uh, a couple of weeks um and if you actually haven't got the elite pass you won't be getting it at all you'll be waiting until the end of the campaign a couple of weeks after the end of the campaign and then you'll be getting it in the uh, drawing it um, which reminds me, I have extra glory. So this is what I do with my extra glory. Um, I think I've said this before. I can't remember if I had or not. I've certainly discussed it on chat, especially with Starla. Um, what I do is I, I, I burn, uh, I, I, whoops, wrong one. Um, I burn that extra glory and I do that not only because there's a very slim chance of um, getting a mythic, but because you get some gems and they're not many gems but um it doesn't cost anything i'm not doing anything else with them might as well not collect them i keep uh, i keep a whole bunch of them uh, yeah the eight gems that time already um i keep a whole bunch available just in case i run out of uh seals or run out of gem keys or something trying to get the new mythic six hooray um so if you think about spending your glory and that gives you gems Hooray, six. Um, that's great. And if you're super lucky, you might you might even get a mythic. And um, uh, that that I've, I've haven't, I haven't got many mythics that way. And and the chances are, I mean, the chances are I've got most of the mythics anyway. There's only a few I haven't got, so the chances of me drawing one I haven't got is incredibly slim. Uh, that's what my uh, my event keys are for, for when uh, I, we have, we roll around to a kingdom where I don't have one. Which actually, let's just have a look. Have I got everybody? Um, oops, have I got everybody in Groshnak? Um, let's just see. I don't. I don't have a Gigantor. So I'll be spending some. I'll be spending some keys this week in an attempt at at, at uh, getting Gigantor, who who I don't believe is very good. But um, it's all about completeness, isn't it? So there we go. Uh, that is the coming week. Um, that's that's the we've got some good troops. We've got some couple of events. We've got some excitement. Um, what have what have I got to talk about now? So I was going to talk about the vault because there has been a little bit of conversation about the vault, and I'm going to tell you what my strategy is because I've done okay. I've played a lot this weekend, so that's going to throw anything. But what I did was I've I've used a strategy uh, that. Um, what are we let's let's put some perspective in here so uh i have got five verse ones verse ones are, are my curse really i don't have enough of those um 
and uh, loads loads of twos, threes, and fours. And I guess everybody's in the same boat. You, you, you're short on one, and whenever you get one of those, and that completes your, your set, and then you can have your Noma Palooza. And I can have five more Noma Paloozas, and I'm going to do that after this video uh, before the end of the week. Uh, get cracking on those. But what I did is here's the strategy I use. So I collect them. Go, go away, please. Um, go on, get out of here. Um, what I do is uh, Sabre posted some advice about using a fast team in Blackhawk. So that's what I do when I look for gnomes. Um, so I use this. I just go round and round and round. Explore a difficulty on explore on difficulty one, and I go round and round and round using actually not Sabre's one at all. Sorry. I use this one here, so Triple Iron Hawk, Dust Devil, um, and this is just a super fast team. So I just sit going around like this, and it kills everybody in one one cast. And it's got um, sort of not very dramatic um, animations. Oh, there's one right there, um, which actually, as I'm going to demonstrate, ah, uh, that's funny. That reinforces something that I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> thought about talking about so uh, so here we go we've we've got um <laughs> hoagie humbucker uh i think he's i think he's the first four i can't remember um let's just find out so um what i was actually going to say of oh, verse three um what i was going to say is uh, what i like about one of the things i like about vault weekend is uh oh anyway sorry i'll finish that point um, so I just sit in Blackhawk and just go round and round and round. And um, after doing that for many, time, many, many times, I uh, started believing I was seeing patterns. And, and this is what humans do. I mean, we are complete pattern recognition machines. I mean, we, are, we have evolved to, as social beings who, uh, you know, recognize people's faces and we're extremely good at it. And we recognize body language and things like that and, and nonverbal communication and things like that. Uh, we recognize, you know, when we're out in, out in the wild, we we're, were scanning for threats and things like this. So our brains are all about pattern recognition. Condition. and 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 this sort of this sort of thing like gambling and and this sort of stuff i've talked about it on chat before we 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 have this uh magical thinking uh that comes into play where you start seeing patterns where they where they don't really exist at all and then you and then what you do is uh our brains look for evidence to reinforce our theory uh, and that's exactly what happened to me so i started what happened i started every time i like was doing something else i'd go play another fight or or, or quit the game and restart or something and every time i went back to blackhawk uh um it would um in the first or second or third fight i would get a, a, a gnome uh and uh, more often than not during the weekend it's a it's a verse gnome but uh it would be any any sort of gnome and I thought, oh, this is really weird. And I kind of tested the theory a few times. And I'd go away from the game for five minutes then come back and turn it on and play it. And again, I'd get a gnome. And I was like, oh, I'm right. I've, I found a bug in the game. And I got really excited. And um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, so uh, it, it kind of works sometimes. I, I, I should have actually started recording it. And you just saw it work then, which is really funny. But it isn't seriously. I mean, there are so many gnomes. I mean, there's half of my brain's going, it's ridiculous, don't be stupid, you know better than this. But the other half's going, yeah, yeah, but it really happens. You know, I'm totally like a gambler. So then what I did is I went, ah, oh, but what happens if you don't quit the game and go out or go and do something else? What happens if you just switch to Wild Plains? Because Wild Plains next door is another is another kind of soft, soft one uh, where where you can use this team or, or a Rowan team or something like that and you, can, and you can defeat them really easily. And what if I go there and what if I have like three battles in here? So let's, what happens? Will I get a gnome? So let's see. Let's see if my, if my theory worked. And I'd go, oh, here we go. Here we go. Is it, is it going to, on video, prove itself to be true? No. Um, so yeah, so, so, so the pattern wouldn't be true. But I, of course, wouldn't be looking for that. I'm looking for when it is true. So then I'd go, well, what happens though if, what happens if it doesn't come up? And then what happens if I go back to Blackhawk? So if I go back to Blackhawk now, I reckon I'm going to get a no. So this is, this is, this is my magical thinking. 
and I'd go, oh, I'm going to get a nine. It'll be, it'll be in like the first three fights. Let's just see. Let's just see. Is it going to happen? All right. But it's going to happen next time. Sure of it. Pretty, pretty sure of it. So let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Proving the theory. Proving the theory to be true. And it failed. And then I'd go, oh, but wait. But maybe, maybe if I go, if I go back to the Wild Plains. <laughs> and you can see what I was doing. And all the time I'm putting the money in the slot machine and playing the slot machine and my money's going, money's, money's diminishing. Um, so yeah, yeah. So anyway, I came up with this crackpot theory. Obviously doesn't work. But that's how that's how I played this week. So I just flicked back and forth between. I mean, this weekend, play, flicked back and forth between Black Hawk, Wild Plains, and and played with that team, uh, just going through as fast as I could, looking looking for nines. And I've done pretty well. So I've got um, what have I got? I was I was aiming for. Oh, I didn't know I had an epic key. Um, I, I spent my epic key straight away. I was aiming for two hundred this weekend, and I've got one hundred and eighty-seven so far. And I've got, as you said, five Noma Paloozas left to do tonight or tomorrow. Uh, so I'm going to get, I'm getting on average, well I haven't got less than 15. I get on average 17. I've been writing these down. So I got on average 17 in Noma Palooza, uh, and my best was 28. Um, but most of the time it's between 15 and 20. Um, so you can see how many how many Noma Paloozas I've generated. Um, and... Actually no, I've no. Actually no, that's not that's not true. I think the average is more like twenty one or twenty two, um, which actually leads me to this the next point. So uh, what I do do is when I get when I get the epic keys, um, I just use the epic keys straight away. And the epic keys are a bunch of trash. I've got nothing good from them this round. I think I've done seven of them so far. I've got I've got one left to do. So let's actually let's do that. Let's do that for fun. Uh, I'm going to use this one. Um, let's go, let's go take on the Gnome Vault. Oh, I didn't even talk about medals in my, in my strategy. I kind of need, um, I need to discuss that actually. Uh, so let's, let's just go and kill some gnomes. That team works particularly well. Uh, if you noticed, um, and the uh, epic keys have just are just rubbish. Oh, actually, that's not rubbish. Forty-eight gem keys. Um, yeah, but usually it's just for I've just, I've just been getting stuff like this: one hundred twenty souls, twenty-five chaos shards, four thousand eight hundred gold. But that's actually that's a bit cracker. That's that's a nice that's a nice win. Um, windfall. So I haven't been spending my other ones. I've just because I wanted to keep keep up on those. Uh, now for the whole weekend, I've just left um, three medals of seasons up above because that helps with all the teams that I've been talking about and all the teams that I've been using. So I haven't bothered flicking back and forth. Now what happens when um, a gnome when I trigger a gnome palooza, which I'm not going to show you because that's 15 minutes long. Um, what happens when I trigger a Noma Palooza? I go to Blackhawk, so I pretty much been staying in Blackhawk. I could go anywhere really, but I stay in Blackhawk. Uh, oh, if there's a no pet um, up at the moment, I'll go and do a PvP battle uh, to get a pet gnome and then summon a pet. But mostly there's always a pet available, so I will not go and do that. Uh, I will just go to Blackhawk. Um, and I just found out actually, I found out in chat that you can do it in casual PvP. Pet gnomes come in casual PvP, so that was interesting. But anyway, um, uh, what was I going to say? So yeah, so then I go to explore and I don't use that one. I don't use the one I just showed you before. I use one that Sabre put up and this is, um, this is a team, if you don't have three Iron Hawks, but if you have two, uh, this team works pretty much um, just as well. I'll just show you. Uh, except it requires two clicks. Oh, <laughs> ah, there's the look. I told you my theory worked. You you go out and then you come back in and there you go. First first one of the first three fights. There's a nine. <laughs> it's jolly hoagie again. But um, <laughs> see how the brain tricks you. See, look. There you go. My theory is obviously correct. You should all follow my theory. No doubt about it. Ah, uh, that's funny. That makes me laugh. Anyway, um, 
so sister superior who who i've never used before um she just casts a spell um and because of the iron hawk she does she does some damage so she kind of like softens up the enemy she softened up, up hoagie and then you sort of the old left right doo-doo. so we've done the left and now we uh, finish them off boom um and now why is that team why do i not use that team on the noma palooza um so there's three uh why do i not use that team on the noma palooza because the other team i showed you the really fast the 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 the, 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 the this other team here this one uh if you play until you hit the or oh, what are they called i can't even remember and when you get to the the boss battle so when you get to a hundred whatever it is you have to collect and then you get a boss battle you an extra fight on that round um around the explore um if you use this team you don't kill them all in one hit and then you piss around um uh, trying to get the mana to fill up an iron hawk to finally kill them and you can waste like a minute um you can waste tons and tons of time and you could have you know played five fights in, in that time so uh that the, the the other team saber's team doesn't do it so it's a tiny bit slower than the other team but it doesn't have that it doesn't have the chance of failing to completely kill everybody in one hit so um that's why i use this one for searching that's my searching team and this is my um or this is sabers uh noma palooza team and now i also had quite a discussion on on chat and discord or bits and pieces oh, i can't actually i can't even remember where i did it. i might not have even been anywhere to do with our guild but i had quite a bit of a chat about this whole unnerving and um you know the fact that if you play your noma palooza really fast you you don't get such good rewards but what you do get is you get you still get lots of vault keys and actually i think the rewards are worth less than the vault keys so the so it's better to play fast and get more vault keys than it is to pardon me play slow and get lots of rewards so anyway so i still play fast could be wrong but i seem to have done okay um i'm going to get over 200 keys this weekend so that's to me that's doing okay uh, so that was my strategy through the vault weekend i am welcome to hear any criticism on that um uh, i am welcome to hear any criticism about my magical thinking i do not for a second think although you have seen it work twice uh, my theory worked twice during this video uh, uh, i do not think it is a glitch in the program it is my, a glitch in my brain um, unless unless i go to the wild plains now and it happens again so let's just do that let's just quickly go there we're not we're, um got to use the same team because it's, it's magical thinking if i go there and another hoagie turns up it's definitely true isn't it definitely true so let's just do it uh remember the first three flips how late first three fights that was nice somebody else somebody's joined a, somebody's um some of the some of the pet um at, which is actually going to show you another thing was as to how my thinking's going so i've done my second fight here's my third fight this is going to prove the theory prove beyond a doubt beyond a doubt because three times on video it was be definitely proved um no but now but now because i said my brain's looking for patterns and looking for exceptions not exceptions to those patterns but things to reinforce those patterns my brain says to me yeah but you did you see that pet that turned up that disrupted it so it's not true so the pattern still exists but but it just didn't work that time because of that jolly pet turning up so that's how your brain works um and uh believe me it's my job I'm talking about how brains work is actually that's actually my career um <laughs> not playing gems uh anyway uh there we go so that is pretty much the video i do that you can go away now if you're part of the guild because i do have a couple of teams to uh, show i know this is a long video but these teams are probably worth it these teams are from boomstick fancy pants who uh posted on one of these youtube videos uh an, an amendment to one of the teams i had shown and and a boomstick gave us a couple of whoops gave us a couple of good teams that i'm now going to show because they're kind of cool themes that i hadn't really thought of before and i'm going to gulvania because i love gulvania who doesn't love gulvania i'm going to gulvania and we're going to go to e12 um because e12 is the testing ground and we are going to play with 
two of Boomsticks teams. And these are Hiking Iron Gut teams. Um, where are they? Do, 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 do. Somewhere down on my list where I was playing with them. Boomstick one. So Boomstick one is the basic version, and then there's the more advanced version. And I like these teams because they because they answer a question that I had many levels ago: was how do you make hiking iron gut better? So um, I'm I'm lucky because I've got a 70 attack here, but most most of the time, a lot of people have kind of 50 uh, with your attack in a team like this, and and so you charge up hiking iron gut, and you cast hiking iron, and he doesn't work, and it's very sad. And then even sometimes. As you know, with our magical thinking, that um, you know RNG, the chances of, of a seventy percent chance of devouring somebody with a seventy there, it's more like like three percent. So so even seventy fails, you know, um, ninety seven times out of a hundred, um, and that's again our magical thinking. But um, you know, I, I, we, we we're not willing to accept that thirty percent fail rate. So how do you solve that? Uh, and there are various ways to solve it, but the, these two teams I'm going to show you are ones that do. I can't resist taking that flashing set of purple gems, but you don't need to. Um, I'm going to take it anyway, but Stargazer. This card here, this troop here, another troop, yet another troop, the third troop of this video that I don't really use, and I hadn't really used Stargazer prior to this um, team from um, Boomstick Fancy Pants. Um, what, what it does is gives 35 attack to an ally. Hooray! But all boosted by gems removed. So if I if I remove some, I remove all the blue gems, and we get a bit of a boost. So maybe, how many blue gems are there? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. So we're gonna we're gonna boost it by. Oh, actually, I'm gonna snap snap that as well. Um, we're gonna take, we're gonna give some. Uh, a, a give some attack to hiking iron gut, and that's what we're gonna do this round. Here we go. One oh six. So now when we use them, there is a. 100% chance of eating somebody, well, so long as they're not immune to devour. So let's do it. Now we need to charge them up, uh, and we'll do it with Thrall. So we're charged up, so we're going to go eat somebody, and it has to be somebody immune to not immune to devour, which I think this guy is. Oh no, he isn't. Okay. But uh, Vlad, Vlad's bad, so we'll kill Vlad. Let's just check. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to eat Vlad. Ha 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 ha! Okay, now we don't we don't need to use this on him anymore, but we could if we wanted to use it on Mountain Crush. I'm not going to, but if you want to now buff Mountain Crush's attack, so when you skull match, um, then we start killing people. So that's kind of cool too. So, but we're not. We're just going to keep on cycling, hiking Iron Gut. Uh, well, I should might as well take that so Mountain Crusher doesn't die. So now back to Mountain Crusher, and now we're going to eat somebody else. Let's eat her. I don't know who she is, but let's eat her. Um, Yes, yeah, see if we buffed hiking iron gut, we'd be doing damage with all these. It'd be great, um, but we're not. We're just we're just feeding feeding the mana into um, hiking iron gut, and as you can see, makes short this team makes short work of uh, the enemy. Um, so it's obviously a titan, and we're using it's it's, it's just great, isn't it? So very nice. Uh, if you get stuck and you get somebody with Devour, then you can actually do what I said, and you can Stargazer, Mountain Crusher, get Mountain Crusher's attack up, and then do some skull matches to kill them. So that's how it doesn't doesn't have any capacity for cursing. So you, that's how you deal with that team. Um, non, sorry, that how, that's how that team de deals with non, uh, well, uh, enemy troops that have uh, immunity to Devour. So that's actually quite quick. So if I wasn't talking, that was actually quite quick. I'm not going to show it again. But I am going to show Boomstick's number two team. So this team, uh, Boomstick showed me, I think, I can't remember which class it had. I think it had Barbarian, but it was because Boom, Boomstick said it was because it, that's, well, that was one that uh, he or she was leveling. Um, uh, I've just realised where Boomstick came from. That's from um, Ash and the Evil Dead. That's from, the, that's from one of the Evil Dead movies. Oh my word, that's awesome. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Anyway, just got the joke. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, I was talking about classes. Um, Boomstick said that Archmagus was the better one to use, but I like Sorcerer. So there are a few different classes you can use. Archmagus is probably better than Sorcerer, but I just like Sorcerer. And the point is, um, Sorcerer generates lots of purple mana and gives you lots of bonuses for Thrall and the Wild Queen. Now this team works the same way as the last team, same sort of logic. You're trying to buff 
hiking iron gut but for the wild queen does it but what she does is she gives um gives it to the first ally so hiking iron gut has to be in first place uh for this one uh and so we, we choose essence of evil because essence of evil is a mana generator and does um does the all the negative status uh impacts so if you do have a enemy that's immune then you just sort of entangle them and do all the other stuff uh that uh, curse them that um he does uh thralls there for mana generation and a wild queen's there for just complete awesomeness so this team is pretty cool actually uh right what are we gonna do so we want to get thrall up of course or actually alternatively we can get essence of evil up um I'll just take that for a start. Uh, so we do want a purple match, and because we've got Sorcerer, we get the purple match up straight away. Okay, we're all ready to eat everybody. Um, so we can do that first, or we can, what I will demonstrate is I'll actually, de actually let's get, get that out of the way. I will demonstrate um, the Wild Queen getting a bonus first. So, uh, okay, let's be, let's be, s I'm not going to cast that because they're already all full, but I will cast the Wild Queen. And we're going to take we're going to kill her eventually so let's let's take this take the attack off the second one um yeah so often the skull match kills that one so there's not much point taking your attack off the first one so if you take it off this one um then suddenly hiking island guts now over 100 percent. so we now can eat somebody but we can actually we're going to use these skulls first now we're going to eat somebody um uh, 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 let's who 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 should we eat uh, okay, I guess you always go for the person with more mana, so let's eat him. Um, that was the sorcerer ability that did that, the 7% chance to assassinate somebody at the end. I can't remember what it's called. Um, let's just take take that so he doesn't get it. Uh, 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 let's, oh, so we could wild, we've got so many options to kill, how, how to kill people here. You could play it safe in essence of evil him, or you could wild queen it to be random to, to try and kill him. And let's do that, because I'm more aggressive so let's take some of his strength and give it to hiking iron gut and kill him with a, with a skull so this team is really really good oh my word okay i'm going to play it one more time because that was um slow and talking through it i'm not going to talk through it now i'm just gonna i will talk through it but i'm not going to narrate what i'm doing um let's just let's just do it Oh, <laughs> did you see that? Died. <laughs> awesome. But actually, even if he does die, we can do this. Um, so this actually just shows you how cool this team is. Um, what you can do. Uh, doesn't even matter if you die, because... That was really funny. I didn't <laughs> totally didn't see that coming. Um... This team's actually so incredibly tough, you don't even need Hiking Iron Gut. Um, yeah, anyway. So E12 is absolutely no obstacle for that team. Super fast, super good, super tough. Um, it's probably not going to take over my Hiking Iron Gut Zorgoth one that I use at the moment, but uh, thank you very much, Boomstick Fancy Pants. That is awesome. And... Um, seriously man when we're down one we're, we're down one on our guild come and join us unless of course you're already in our guild and i don't even know who you are um you could actually be already in our guild but thank you very much for those recommendations uh thank you very much for permission uh to for, for, for me to put those in my video thank you very much for um to a uh, gems of war actually for having a gnome weekend because that is completely awesome uh, i'm now going to go kill some gnomes uh, and then go to bed and start the new week. Um, thank you very much for being a absolutely fantastic guild uh, and just making this game so awesome. Have a good week. See you next week. I don't anticipate doing a video during the week, so um, could be could could be another week before I do one. So uh, enjoy the game. Very good. Bye bye.